He's one you've got to catch up to. Welcome back to our Japan trip. After spending two days in Kyoto, we are on our way to Nagano, where we are looking forward to see some snow monkeys. After a train getting delayed, we finally are getting on the train to Nagoya. Hopefully. Unfortunately, as we were transferring to our bullet train to Nagano, there was a slight delay, and I mean slight, but it was actually around two hour delay. On the way to Nagano, we saw a lot of beautiful mountains, towns, and the sky was absolutely beautiful. It was actually a pretty long ride too, which is why we ended up taking a little nap. The Japanese countryside is very unique and refreshing, with lots of spectacular views of the mountains and lots of architecture we've never seen before, as well as a lot of rice fields. There are multiple bullet trains that can take you to Nagano from Kyoto. The one that we chose was the Tokaido Sanyo Shinkansen, which then transfers over to the Shinano line and takes you through rural Japan where you can see a lot of farms and mountains. The whole route is covered by the JR Pass and has a travel time of around 4 hours. After finally arriving at Nagano Station, we now only had to wait for our train to Yudanaka. The delay I talked about earlier actually caused us to be around two and a half hours late to our dinner at Yudanaka Yasuragi, which is a tr traditional Japanese ryokan, and the owners were nice enough to not only pick us up from the station, but also give us our dinner a little bit later, considering it was supposed to be at 6 p.m., but we got there at around 9. This was our first Japanese traditional ryokan experience and it was very unique and I really enjoyed it and I actually looked forward to it a lot because of how unique it is. The food and the dinner was also extremely good and I did not think I was going to eat most of it until I tried it and saw that it was actually amazing. The dinner served a lot of food that we don't usually eat but because we were in Japan and because we wanted to try out the entire experience, we actually gave some of it a go and we were pleasantly surprised at how good it was. Especially the tempura mushrooms, those were absolutely fantastic and I don't typically eat mushrooms, and neither does Brian. So we're here in Yudenaka Yasuragi at our Yoruk, at our Ryokyan, and we're having our traditional Japanese style dinner with Kobe steaks or Kobe beef and it is everything I ever dreamed of like the marbling on the steak is absolutely beautiful and like this is like the number one thing I wanted to try food wise when we got to Japan and I finally got to try it and man I'm happy just look at that it looks beautiful it is amazing so the tempura was like such a light fry and it looked amazing. We had enoki mushrooms, we had another different type of mushrooms, and then we had, yeah, and then we had two different types of wild grass with a uh, Japanese sweet potato. And like, it tasted amazing. Like everything here has tasted amazing so far, but I'm not a big fish fan. So there is some ceviche that I left out over here and some raw salmon, but you know, we'll, we'll get over that bridge when we get to it. But everything, but everything else was absolutely amazing. Like it tastes, I'm in heaven. I, I love food, so this is like perfect. Mm. Oh, that's good. Dylan, show me some Me and Brian really wanted to feel the entire experience of a traditional ryokan, so we ended up putting on some kimonos and going to the onsen. <laughs> 
one of the things I was the most surprised by is out of all the hotels we stayed at, the sleeping on the floor in these futons was actually some of the best sleep I've ever had in Japan so far. The next day, when we woke up and were about to head over to the Snow Monkey Park, we also had breakfast included with the Ryokan, and the breakfast was just as good as the dinner, if not better. The breakfast comprised of some vegetables, miso soup, fish, and rice. And fun fact, this is actually considered one of the healthiest breakfasts in the entire world. Alright guys, so this was our night in our Ryukan and it was absolutely the experience that we dreamed of. We have the tatami mats, we have the very low, low chairs straight to the ground and the breakfast and dinner was absolutely amazing. So that was pretty much our stay at this Ryukan and it was absolutely wonderful and now we're gonna go try and see some monkeys. The owners were incredibly nice and actually even offered to drive us all the way to the Snow Monkey Park, which helped us out a lot without having to get a bus or a train. So we are about to go look for the monkeys at the Monkey Park. Uh, we're going to see if we can find them here in May, but we're leaving our Ryokan uh, Yudanaka uh, Yasuragi. It's called. It's an incredible place. I loved it here. Uh, I'd give it like five stars. Uh, it's absolutely incredible. So yeah, we're about to, uh, they're actually kind enough to drive us to the station and hold our bags here so that when we are ready to leave, they're gonna drop us off at the station with all our bags, which is top tier service. Yeah. All right, well, we gotta go. Let's yeah, go. let's get going. Yeah. <laughs> so you might be wondering where we are. If you don't know, the sign up there tells you we are at the Snow Monkey Park, right, Brian? Yep. And we're praying to see some monkeys. But yeah, we got a lot of prayers for these monkeys. Let's go. Let's go find some. Let's go. It's around a 10 minute walk to get to the actual Snow Monkey Park, but it is an amazing walk with a beautiful forest and we even saw a monkey on the trail walking along with us. So we're still on the way to see the snow monkeys and we're walking through this beautiful greenery and this beautiful forest and wow, this is definitely like an escape from Tokyo. Well now, we're training this monkey. He's gonna lead us to his people. Oh, he's running, we gotta catch up to him. Ooh. 
Hey. Hey. Them. They're just in their own little world. They're just playing with rocks. And they don't even know we exist. We're just here. And they're just playing with rocks. The amount of monkeys. So normally there's not this many snow monkeys, especially here in May, but we got extremely lucky because there's a bunch. They're all over and they're just vibing. I don't even know. Like we're gonna take some awesome pictures, some awesome videos, and we hope you guys enjoy. I just want to know, I want to know If I could run through the fire, I could conquer the night If I can make it, if I try to draw the red lights I don't know if I can make it when I walk alone I'm not gonna lose myself I'll be standing high and I'll win the fight One of the best things we saw was this little baby monkey which came right up in front of our cameras and we were able to take amazing videos of him. Looking to see baby monkeys, spring is the best time to come see them because this is around the time when they're born. So, as you guys can see, there is a lot of monkeys here. Actually, way more than I thought.
This is pretty much known as the onsen for monkeys because this is all just like uh, hot springs water and all the monkeys come here, they gather, they relax and pretty much just like clean themselves. It's crazy how similar they are to humans. Look at them, they're just chilling over there. Also, if you guys are interested, we are going to be posting some of these monkey photos on Dylan and Brian Vlogs Instagram. So we'll make sure to link that down below if you guys want to see. Eleven o'clock is around the best time to come to the snow monkey park, especially in the spring, because this is around the time when they feed them and when you can get a bunch of monkeys in a single photo or in a single video, all surrounded by this hot spring. The snow monkey park is more famous during the winter because that's when the snow monkeys are sitting in the onsen when it's snowing outside and it makes for an incredible photo. However, we came here during the spring because it was much less crowded and we were hoping to still see some monkeys and as you guys can see, we saw plenty. So this is a great chance to go and see them if you don't have the opportunity to see them in the winter. So that was our day at the monkey park and we got extremely lucky. I heard it's best to come around 11 o'clock. That's when we came and we saw so many monkeys. I didn't think we were gonna see anything knowing our luck, but everything worked out for us. All right, so now we have to go catch our train from Nagano to Tokyo and then from Tokyo, we're going to Hokkaido. After the snow monkey park, we are now headed back to Tokyo to hop on our plane over to Hokkaido where the next couple of videos will be from Hokkaido. We have a bunch of footage of beautiful landscape and scenery, so I hope you guys stay tuned for those Hokkaido videos. After the hike up to the snow monkeys, we got this local apple ice cream, which is made from the local apples here, and it tastes actually amazing. I've never had this like soft serve apple ice cream, and oh yeah. This is the stuff.